Hey everyone, Sean here from Explominate, and what we are looking at is something I've wanted to cover for quite a while, and that is Door Kickers 2. I think it might be the game that I've spent the most time in last year. I don't know, I really enjoy it. Um, and it's uh, yeah, it's something I wanted to cover for a while, but the regular gameplay, it's been covered by a lot of other channels, and I kind of wanted to do something a little different. And I think recently I've found that, and what that is, is the Black Powder Red Earth mod for Door Kickers 2. Now, for those who don't know, Black Powder Red Earth is a well it's a turn-based pc game a turn-based tactics game it doesn't play anything like xcom or anything like that it's its own thing and it's also a tabletop miniatures board game and the idea is it's supposed to i think emulate pretty well or as, as closely as possible how special operations work like you go in with you know sneaky you and you have you're on the clock from when you start you need to get in get the objective done and then get out real quick and I think this mod does a pretty good job of showing off the units in it. And it also has... So, okay, so we've got the regular campaign from Door Kickers 2. There's plenty in there. You've got Steam Workshop, all that kind of stuff. But these guys that made this mod, they've actually done their own mini campaign. And it does a really good job of showing how Black Powder Red Earth it works, I think. I'm not going to have a go at it because they're just... They're quite difficult and very short, which isn't really what I wanted to show. And... With these, with these missions, it's like with the hostage rescues in particular, you get in, you find the hostage, get them, get out. And when you found the hostage, oh sorry, capture high value target. When you get in and you capture the high value target, enemies will keep appearing. Once you've grabbed the targets, you need to get out or you will eventually get overwhelmed and you'll get killed. So they do a really good job, I think, of showing how that works like as translated over from Black Powder Red Earth itself. And also what I was going to look at is a mission generator so it's just randomly generated missions and you can select the amount of units you want to you want to deploy your opposition strength and you've got different mission types like your hostage rescues kill your hostiles capture high value targets and you basically just select what you want hit go and what you can do is actually go keep cycling and it'll just keep loading different missions it doesn't seem to have a lot of different mission like map types at the moment you got that there seems to really only be that this mountainous sort of one or this kind of urban setting but there is something else you can do so yeah um you can also I, what i've done is i've actually copied a seed for a map and what you can do is you can share them around to friends if you happen to find a particular randomly generated mission type and you want to show it to other people, other people, so they can play it. You can actually just copy paste it, and they can load it into the game, which I thought was really cool. So, also, you've got different squads available at the moment. Uh, normally, in the base game, there's only the Rangers, the CIA, and the SWAT. Your Rangers are sort of your default heavy hitters kind of thing. Uh, CIA are more stealth oriented, and you know, Iraqi SWAT. I haven't really used them much. I've tried to use them, and I just find them very clunky and difficult to use. So, I just haven't really bothered with them much. And these are actually from the mods. You've got Crisis Troop Ember, which are the ones used in the mini campaign. There, It's a four unit squad. I'm not going to use that here because they will just die in like 10 seconds. And then you've also got the Crisis Troop Scorch ground combat element, which is what we will be using. And I've got another one, which is the B Troop of the CIA ground branch. So there's also another mod on here that expands the weapons and attachments that are available. Won't look too much at that at the moment because with Crisis Trip Scorch, they actually have a very limited loadout because it's ripped straight from the from the game that it takes inspiration from. And they, they don't really do anything with loadouts. You've just got a couple of limited options for your kit and it's more about the on-the-ground gameplay. So I'll just deploy these guys. Right, so you've got your advisors. Um, I'm just going to get rid of one of them at the moment. Where is he? That one. Get rid of him. You've got your advisors, which can deploy special equipment. And then you've got assaulters, which is sort of like regular assaulters. Uh, recon, which I haven't really figured out what the difference is with them, really. Oh, sorry. Yeah, they can have um, some difference in kit. They can have AT4 launchers. And then you've got your assault techs, which are assaulters, but can also deploy 
the same sort of things as the advisors. So you got a bit of variety, like not a super huge amount of variety, but yeah, like there's there's a bit there. So one reason that I did pick Roger. the Black Powder Red Earth guys is because they have a feature that isn't available anywhere else in the game, and I wanted to show off what that is. I'm just going to get my gear organized here. Make sure we've got at least one of these guys on each side. Roger. There we go, Max. Yep, cool. Alright. I think we're ready to go. Hopefully I don't botch this. Oh, okay. So what we're going to do here... Is... So what we're doing is throwing the strike marker. So this is the feature I was talking about. We're going to find you going to see what that is in just a sec. Look at that. <laughs> you got drone strikes and door kickers. How awesome is that? All right, now we need to go loud. I'm not going to bother trying to do any of the single plan. I'm just going to get killed. My, my reflexes are just not up to doing that. Hang on, I need a grenade that will go down in the corner there. Alright, so we've got the Suicide Bomber. Alright, good start, I think. So I'm just going to move up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Cheeky. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Hang on. Try it again. I'm just going to put a slap charge on the window here. Good thing we we're ready for that. Could have been a bit nasty. Alright, where is... Wait, where'd the other guy go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, so I was pretty sure I'd cleared that out, but we'll have a look anyway. Alright, so cleared this out. I'm just going to sit these two here. Back in some half decent cover. Alright, so that should hold for a little while. Now I need. Hey, which one's got the LMG? This guy's got the LMG. Alright. Emrad Abid. Emrad. Hang on. Emran Abid. I'm not going to remember that name. <laughs> Alright, so. Now we'll get the next part of the plan into play. grenade out, because that should stun anybody who's not dead, killed by that. Get out of it. There we go. Alright, so it's two buildings down. 
it kind of almost feels like cheating with this thing, but like I, like I was just trying to sort of explain there is there it presents dangers of its own because you get those enemies that come swarming out and if you're not ready for them they'll, they'll overrun you i'm sure that somehow even though this is the same seed that i copied it somehow changed the map layout slightly so okay now we will try and deploy a bit diff different bit of gear for this bit if i can just find the guy who's actually got it that would be helpful sorry where the hell's he gone oh bugger it whatever one of these guys is supposed to have a wall charge unless i get rid of oh that's right no i got rid of it for this one not, not this um, squad that has it. Okay, well, that's alright. i make things a little bit trickier. Hang on, there's someone already there. We don't need another one. You can go back up there, mate. Stuff. Oh. There's one already there too. Okay. Apparently I'm too efficient for my own good. Alrighty, so... Oh, crap. Shit. Okay, whoops, there's one. Ah, damn it. Oh, there's two of them. Crap. Not ideal. Just kind of hoping that cover would be enough. Apparently not. Alright, so what we'll do... Beautiful. Clear that out. Now, do I have? Yes, I do. All right. What we're gonna do? Blow the back end out of this building. still got two so what we're gonna do put a slap charge on this door okay so we'll get this guy ready up here let's see if i can pull this off i just want it to go right out in the middle of the building there Oh, there we go. That works. There we go. Look at that. When it works, it works. <laughs> Just got plenty of ammo for the moment. Wait. All right. 
so that's what three buildings down yeah cool all right we're getting somewhere okay Never run a link up Bring some back up there. Oh, tried to make a break for it. Do here. You know, we'll leave one here. So I'll just swing around here. Um, also, you can set them to point in a certain direction. So I'm just going to do that for a bit. Okay, now do they have a slap charge? Yes, they do. Beautiful. Grenade in there. Dick. All right, another building down. Two to go. Yeah, it's gonna keep track of who's got what. All right, trying to make a bit of a rush. Here we go. Let's get a frag grenade in there. I don't know if that helped or not, but I don't know, did something. There we go. Wicked. Jesus, look at that. What building? Well, there you go. If you don't have one, none of a door, I guess you just make one. Alright, so we will move up a bit further. Also, I got to move. I think that's it, actually. Maybe. That's just the two of them back there. Score. You know what? I'll keep two here just in case. 
Got three man team clearing up here. Hopefully. You know what? I do not want the guy with the LMG trying to clear a room when I've got guys with carbines. Oh, look at that. Cheeky. Alright, so they're out of charges for their thingy. Their drone beacon. So I'm going to get a bit rough at this one. Actually, I'll go throw a grenade. Whoa, don't do that. Let's not go there. Hang on. Not quite what I wanted. So I'm going to go for simultaneous drone strikes at the end here. There we go. Get them. Got him. Look at that. See the fireworks. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. Lost two units. Better time than last time, though. So, yeah, and you get points at the end. And you can actually watch a... You can watch the map. You can also watch a replay. And you can even save it and everything. So you can play it out as quick as you want. I oh, know, up to eight times. Then off the HUD. Yeah. No, it's cool. All right, we'll get out of the replay there. Ah, all right. So there you go, guys. I just sort of wanted to show a bit off about how the Black Powder Red Earth mod works because I thought it was a very cool mod. Um, I'll show you real quick. Where's the squad's units? So normally, you know, they have a bunch of different guns to choose from, different calibers, different attachments, different... Um, ammunition types like crazy amount of customization but yeah so the black powder earth doesn't have that but i think what it makes up for in fun gameplay with the with the drone strikes and uh in, in some ways you know it's, it's got your unique kit that nothing else in the game has so i thought this was something worth showing off so yeah i uh, hope you enjoyed what you saw and until next time this is sean from explore have a good one